Happy Christmas Eve, everyone. I'm Stuart Heath, CEO of Harvard Grace Corporation. Uh, in our commercial real estate segment this week, I wanted to refer you to uh, a, an investor's survey that's been going on for about 16 years. It's proved to be fairly accurate. Uh, they do it twice a year, the first half and the second half. And um, it's a couple of interesting things to note here. Clearly, after the first half, when the, which they did in the spring, there was a tremendous drop from uh, the second half of 19, uh, from a level of 166 down to 140. Uh, due to the pandemic, nobody knew what was going to happen. People didn't go to work anymore. What's going to happen to commercial office space, retail stores, and the whole like. Uh, well, we're well, you know, we're 10 months into the pandemic now, and... Um, there's been quite a bit of real estate activity, uh, M&A-wise, transactional-wise, and the world has somewhat calmed down. And now, uh, as of today, people are actually getting the vaccine, uh, and by the um, end of Q1 2021, we think there may be as many as 100 million people have been vaccinated just in the United States alone. This is great news. So anyway, uh, the second half survey was still somewhat sketchy. I provided a couple of graphs uh, in the post that you can review, as well as a link to this great article by the National Real Estate Investor. Uh, as you dig down into uh, the guts of it, you will see that there are different levels of confidence based upon the type of real estate um, that these investors invest in. You know, very high confidence in the um, multifamily industry, uh, you know, uh, sector, as you might imagine. People always got to live somewhere. Uh, high confidence in industrial. You know, we still have a manufacturing uh, expansion going on in this country, uh, not to mention the move to online uh, retail. And so all that product has to ship from somewhere. So uh, industrial warehouses are, are high in demand as well. So uh, it's a very interesting study. Um, I, I've followed it for a while and uh, wanted to share it with you this week. So. Um, uh, if you'd like to discuss it further, uh, you know how to reach out to me. Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, we'll talk to you soon.